Hey, what's up, world? I'm just getting kind of prepared before the, our guests of the day come on. I'm going ahead to pin everything that she has on Instagram today, guys. On Alicia Janae Grand Talk, we have Catherine Long. Okay, let me see here. Y'all can just come on in. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I might be doing her. It's not pulling her name up. Hey, y'all. Coming in. Checking in one time. Let me see here. So, I'm getting everything prepared here. All the... All of her Instagram um, pages you guys can follow. That way we kind of get everything together. Oops. Give me a minute. I'm gonna post it. What's up? Black Majesty, Black Three Majesty. Okay, I see you. I see you. Pin it right there. Let you guys come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Gotta get me a little sip before I get started. <laughs> what y'all doing today? Today, wherever you are in the world. This has been a long week for me. I don't know about y'all, but this work week since... This past weekend, with this winter storm that South Carolina, uh, small bird South Carolina had, man, <laughs> going to work and going back home, that that was, mm -mm. I'm glad the snow came and it's gone. But it rained, uh, not rain, it snowed a little bit last night, so that's about to melt away. Because I was just like over it. Over it. I'm trying to fix my hair before a lot of people come in here. Y'all know how we women do. We gotta check our <laughs> check our hair now. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm glad that you're here and here to support, show some love, ask some questions. Um, so yeah, I might give a little, give a little, you know, a little hair, a little hair for him, yes. I'm trying to figure out which one is, what side is my side, so I think it's this one, hold on. Mm-hmm, yeah, y'all see her. <laughs> I'm a goofy. Well, I'm not a goofy, goofy, but yeah, I like to laugh. Hey, hey, hey. I got to come up with a theme song. I need some, some singers, some rappers or something. <laughs> some rappers that's out there that's watching. Y'all help me out with a theme song. We'll, we'll collaborate, you know. We'll link. How y'all be saying? We'll link up. <laughs> I need somebody to sing a intro, intro song or whatever. Who got some beats? Anybody? 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 <laughs> I'm chewing good on this this bubble guy. Hey girl. Hey cat. Let me get you in here. Hold on. And hang up this live, y'all. I know how to 
invite people in. Let's see. Hey. Hey, my girl. Hey, my girl. <laughs> it's been a while since I see you, girl. Yeah. I've been over here in quarantine. Yes. How you been? Girl, good. Girl, good. Girl. That's, that's good. That's good. I'm like, yeah, y'all come on in. We'll kind of <laughs> get started. Mm -hmm. Girl, you yeah. Got, you got to get know? sir in a bit. Yes. We're going to talk about later. Hey, hey y'all. Hey guys. <laughs> oh. What is you say? You're doing good. Yes, sir. You're doing good as well. What am I, I know. I, 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 I'm doing my best I can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I got a pimple on my face. Girl, yeah. don't, don't talk about the, these blotches that I, I'm trying to use my wig to cover up. <laughs> Girl, look, I just, I said, let me wash my face and brush my teeth. I just kind of okay. tried to brush my hair down. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even put no heat to it. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you still look beautiful as ever. Thank you, my girl. You welcome, cool, cur, cur, cur. What Cardi B say? Cur. Well, that was you. <laughs> Y'all know I love to Cardi B. While we got some people coming on in here, I just want to welcome my girl Catherine Long from Jackson, Mississippi. She's former dancing doll and Gigi, mm -hmm. which I'm just like. Ooh, girl, the 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 deets we gotta get into. So, mm -hmm. my first question for you is, what at what age did you start dancing with the dancing dolls? Okay, so I auditioned for the dancing dolls. It was eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Um, so I danced as I was in middle school throughout those years. It was seven and eighth grade, and then after. Um, going into high school in the eighth grade, of course, me leaving eighth grade, going into ninth grade, I auditioned for the Dance Dogs and made it. So, um, this when I transitioned over and started into a Diana. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of which, and uh, like people like me that you know, we didn't know anything about the Nancy Dolls and Diana um, mm -hmm. due to Watch and Bring It, you know. Um, so, how was that just watching the Nancy Dolls go from this team in Jackson, Mississippi <laughs> to the beat screen? To me, I guess because I grew up around well, the parents that I grew up around was a different parents right. on the uh, scene. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, to me, I wasn't, you know, those are the same people that I've been seeing. So, of course, you know, it's a different type of feeling if you already knew them versus, you know, the people that didn't know them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, um of course, you're going to always, you know the inside works. So you already been around. You know how the studio works. You know how practice works. You know how right. this and that goes. You know the ins and outs versus the people that's on the outside looking in. They don't know the ins and outs or whatever the case may be. You know, it's new people that just get into a major age. They don't know the ins and outs. Right. So therefore, mm -hmm. um, they new to this, so they ask different questions. So um, the foundation, to me, um, I I know the foundation. So right. therefore, um, I guess it was the same. It's the same. So I guess I was there. You know, I, you know. Of course, you know. I'm happy. Um, always very proud and very happy. And whatever mm -hmm. the case might be, but uh, you know, people be like, "Oh my goodness, this and this and that," and 
<laughs> and you know, you you know, you've been around it so long. You know, you like, yeah, that's you know, I've been around them for years. And yeah. Then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like, say like as for me in my hometown we had talent shows we didn't have majorette because a mm -hmm. lot of HBCUs in South Carolina or like in Columbia in the low country like Charleston you know so in the upstate of Spartanburg we basically just like we danced but it was like more so street hip hop yeah so I'm one of those dancers slash choreographers that, you know, I'm trying to have a, a team, you know, because Majorette, when it hit the big screen with the dance dance and bring it, I'm like, that is so cool. You know, I I didn't mm -hmm. go to an HBCU. I went to, you know, college here in my hometown. And mm -hmm. I was like, I've always wanted to dance. So it was just like one of those things where I'm like, it'd be cool to have my own Majorette team. So yeah. I tried it out. First, when I got back into dance, I was 28 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm 32 now. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I was an assistant coach first. And then um, when that didn't work out, you know how sometimes it goes when you mm -hmm. and the coaches and, you know, directors, y'all have y'all differences. And it was time for me to leave. And I branched off when I started my own dance team. It was like, you know, it, it it was hard work for me. So, you know, even when um, I stepped out on my own, I had, like, an assistant that was helping me, that was doing more so of the billing payment side. Mm -hmm. So it, that was a headache. So I was just like, oh, maybe it's not meant for me to have my own team right now, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. just for you – the grow up with the dance dolls and to see uh, Miss Diana okay. Williams to mm -hmm. transcend from you know from being the the uh, yeah. the girls around the Jackson to the big screen mm -hmm. is I know that's had to be like a a fulfilling feel for you yeah as a student and the, were you like the captain one year or yeah did you become from captain for mm-hmm. from 11 okay. 2011 to 2013 I was captain. So that was the years right before the lifetime came. Right. right. Okay. So were, you was on Bring It, right? Well, they had came to Alcorn and filmed a couple times. So right. that was Kayla. Me and Kayla was captain the same time, mm -hmm. um, double years. And then Kayla was captain until she graduated by herself. So mm -hmm. they actually was filming those years that I graduated and I was at all corn dancing. Okay. So, um, yeah, so it was literally the year after I left, like literally. Oh, wow. Literally. But that so. was still a, a good experience for you, you know, being at Alcorn State, being mm -hmm. able to film with them. So that's, that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. To embrace. So, so. What it's you've like, been used to for all know, these years. Yeah, it's just like when people be asking me, even like if I go to like California or like D.C., because I say in Mississippi, I'd be like culture shock because I'm yeah. from <laughs> You know what I'm mean? saying? So I'd be culture shock. So I kind of understand when they be like, oh, the dance and all is kind of similar. Because, you know, I say in Mississippi. So me seeing like the big city. Culture right. Shock. So I would tell people that they want to go to Alcorn. I'd be like, y'all know this the country. I'm trying to right. y'all to understand. Y'all <laughs> some of y'all from Queens or Manhattan. Right. Manhattan. Right. <laughs> this ain't LA. Alcorn ain't LA. Now. Like now, I want y'all to understand. Y'all ain't finna drive. This ain't Manhattan. Because the know. first time I went to Mississippi, I was like, oh my, oh my God, all these potholes. <laughs> I mean, girl, I was like, boy, but you know, yeah, it is yeah, what it is because you know, I also want to ask you what made you want to go to Alcorn State versus Jackson State? Well, I really didn't want to go to either at first, I really wanted to go somewhere like Xavier, Mississippi mm -hmm. State, um, actually. Diana actually uh, talked me into going into HBCU. 
Right. And auditioning. Um, it was a couple of teams that uh, she wanted me to audition for. Um, I didn't want to stay at home. So Jackson State was kind of out the question. Mm-hmm. Um, it was actually out. So I didn't want to go to Jackson State. I didn't want to move too far from home. So right. Xavier was just New Orleans. So that's like two and a half hours from Jackson. And Michigan State is kind of like the same. Uh, two and a half, three hours from Jackson, so that's not a bad drive. Right. Oh, um, I'm trying to see what else. And then Alcorn is probably like an hour and a half. So, um, Diana talked me, uh, talked me into you know dancing. So I went to an audition. You know, I did my research. I went to the audition. Um, for it was a couple. It was it was a lot of Jackson girls that year. It was, right, <laughs> um, Olivia Brinson, Haley, myself, Trisha, and then it was Sade from Memphis. Kind of see, it was somebody. I was trying to see if it was anybody else from Jackson, but it was all of us, so we all made it. And that was the year all of us from Jackson was on this team. But um, that's the decide. You know, everybody was like, "I think you should go to HBCU, and you can get some net. I think you should keep it." You know, I don't think you should go to a PWI or whatever the case might be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, during that time, I was just thinking that I just wanted to branch out, you know, from home just for a little bit. Right. So, you know, just to get that, you know, away from home and see just for a little while. But even though I still get that, you know, I went away from home, you know, got that on campus feeling. You know, I I really didn't. It's like I wanted to dance in college, but I didn't want to dance in college. You know, I was 50-50 with it. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did experience the whole swag dance for life. Right. And when you and I met three years ago, like, you introduced me more into the majorette Battle of the Bands, because I've never gone to the Battle of the Bands. Um, oh, the mob. It? Yeah, the mob. So, yeah, yeah now, that was a good experience yeah, for me. You know, getting mm-hmm. back into the dance and the dancing scene, you know, and um, I just also want to ask the J Stacks versus the GGs. Like, are y'all always like? I know, like, when it comes to homecoming, y'all like rivalry teams, and like that's the time that you go hard. Like, you know, huh? um. How is that experience during homecoming? Well, homecoming, we don't homecoming, we don't battle each other. Homecoming is Kappa City mm-hmm. Classic or Soul Bowl, but it's it's not it's not what people think it is. It's not rivalry. It's it's what the fans make it. The fans make right. it because actually mm-hmm. we actually hang out with each other. We actually was on Dancing Dolls or Purple Diamonds or EPP or the high school or dance teams with each other. And most most of us are, are in the same sororities and grew up with one another. So it was it's really fans making the beef. So and it's yeah. so funny because most of us are in like most of us, like I said, most of us hang out with each other. Most of us in the same group chat with each other. Most of us right. be on the phone with each other. And we just be laughing. We be sending stuff to each other like, girl, look at this. Girl, look at this. So, <laughs> of course, you know, it, to us, well, in my head, to me, it'd be friendly. I don't, I yes. don't think it's serious. So, um, I well, never been good. Both schools can get along. Mm-hmm. It really be the fans that be making it. <laughs> they be are they be arguing with each other over teams. Oh my god! And <laughs> I never, I never seen a case where the two teams be arguing with each other. So, <laughs> well, for the Jaysets and the GGs, I, I never seen it at all. I seen the oh, fans. Oh wow! I never see the fans argue, but not the actually girls. We never argue with each other. That's Right. That's um the you know, that's the outsiders. We never did that. That's good. 
people got to go. I felt like that too because the fans mm. sometimes do too much. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Especially the competitions, Lord. <laughs> we actually, yeah, we actually are good friends. Like, I'm saying, when I say we actually grew up together, most of us grew up together. Like, most of us from Jackson or the outskirts of Jackson. Or mm -hmm. even if they not from Jackson, um, we get to know one each other because we'll do dance camps with one another. Um, and we'll just get along. So. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Like, fans, y'all stop creating these issues with these <laughs> girls, these GGs, and these J6. <laughs> yeah, that's um, too hard. <laughs> so, what was your major at Alcorn State? Um, well, at Alcorn, it was criminal justice. Just my, mm -hmm. It was my major. I graduated, uh, graduated in. Um, 2017 with a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. So, have you always wanted to be in the judicial system? Actually, no. Uh, what's so funny is when I was, I think, ninth or 10th grade, I actually wanted to be a cardiologist. Mm. I wanted to be a cardiologist. But That's then good. I started to take forensic classes and get into turned to mind, so I started to get into the whole law <laughs> thing. Right. So I started to get into psychology. I started to get into criminal profiling. So that's what kind of changed my whole mindset of criminal justice and psychology, which I'm getting my master's in criminal psychology now. So, but I think I'm kind of, if I would have went back to it, I probably would have, not went to medical school, but I probably would have went be like PA. Biology oh, okay. And then with the PA school. <laughs> That's a good feel. That's a good feel. <laughs> yeah, PA is good. PA, I would have did because I think what nursing is two years, PA is three years, mm -hmm. nursing school is four years. Yeah. Right. It still would have probably either did a your specialty of car cardiology or neuro. Mm -hmm. You never know. So let's talk about campus life. How was college like? Um, for you just uh, you know being on a, a dance line a dance team keep your grades up and you know like how was that uh college life you don't have a life dancing let me say that fall year is strictly class band workout that's it that's it yeah that's it and Not then you pledge too, so that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, and but that yeah that was spring sixteen. So the others like it's strictly band, class, workout, sleep, and repeat. Mm. And I did that all four years. So, <laughs> <laughs> Lady J said for her it was a whole lot of partying. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so that's how we telling people. Oh, uh, yeah, you you don't have a lot. You don't when you dancing. It's uh -huh. really it's no it's no life. Now in the springtime, yeah, you kind it's kind of more chill in the springtime. But you got to think when you first come back to school, it's cold. You really not hanging mm -hmm. out like that. You're not that's hanging right. out like that. It's cold. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna hang out until after second weekend of March. And then everybody right. get offline. Um, that's when the fun really start happening. But shoot, you probably just probably have another two, two or four weeks of school and then school out. Right. So <laughs> versus that fall semester, you got games, you got parties, you got this and this and that. Spring mm -hmm. semester is cold. Is you know you really only got a short amount of time to have fun. Now this is you dancing. <laughs> versus just somebody just going to school. Just going to school and getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Mm -hmm. So how how is um so what do you do now like for work? Okay, well I just um transfer from Mississippi Department of Corrections. I worked in parole 
on parole, and now I work for Mississippi Department of Child Protective Services and Life Assure and the Life Assure Union. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Definitely, definitely We're gonna. I'm cool. gonna. Uh, Ask the whoever's watching if you have any questions for Kat. Right now is the time to go and ask away. Oh, they said congrats, Kat. Thank you. Oh. And she said I was just going to school. <laughs> I see some more people coming in. I will post this on my um on my timeline. So if you miss it, it will be right here, okay guys. Um oh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and kind of ask she said Lady J eight six four says my question, how do I properly shake this ass? Do I start with my left or right leg? <laughs> Lord. You know, so I think you you supposed to bend both knees. Like okay, if you come, come on, like make shake, it be I, If I'm not like the major shape, uh, yeah, you're supposed to bend both knees. Let's talk if about I'm, it because girl. If I'm not if I'm if if I'm if I'm thinking about the right shaking you talking about, you supposed to bend both knees. What is your uh pet peeve about dancing techniques, Kat? I say I, I can't. My pet peeve is the point toe. I can't stand to get it down. Oh, come they on, come up, mine's too, girl. You gotta point them toes, baby. Mm hmm Point their toes. And um, more stunts than dancing, and they repeat. And having a team like I like for Definitely. everybody to be in unison. Like you got to get them counts in your head. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you got to count in your head. Cause like a lot of kids, they they look for the beat, the the pick up. Oh, what what routine is next? Like no, baby. You got to go five, six, seven, eight with me. Mm-hmm. You got to look yes. clean. Uh, it's yes. A lot of people just uh, practice for two weeks and then go perform. Uh, and then a lot of people don't. A lot of coaches need to train themselves first before actually getting a team. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need to train themselves first. So I think that's the big issue. A lot of coaches don't go and train. It's like majorette is cool, but you know, go take some ballet classes, dance classes, right. heels classes are good too. You can either go take like walking classes, like pageant walk, modern walk. That will help yes. with a lot of like feet technique. You know, right? That's right. Either, either if it's like stretching class, because it's a difference between modeling walking and pageant walking. It's that's two different walks. Right. Look, I don't walks. know the distance. Can can you kind of like elaborate on the difference of that? Uh, you know, pageant walking is like a fun, energetic walk with the woo, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, of course it's like a strut and then modeling walk, I think it's like a narrow, like a straight in your body walk. Right. You know, like and like a pageant walk, you're supposed to have fun with it. If you never seen them like on Miss USA, they smile and they did yeah. the neck. But if you are like on the uh fashion week, you know, you don't see them girls smiling. They be serious. Right. That's true. So it's a difference. <laughs> but like on the USA, Miss USA stage, they be having fun. You know, they be having fun. They don't be you know, they don't be they be serious, of course they'll be wanting to win the title, but it'd be right. energetic, be fun. But on a um on the, what's the, what's the um in the New York Fashion Week? They be yeah, it be game time. They be having serious face on because it's a different type uh -huh. of walk, right? So you know, classes, technique classes like that would really really help. Come on, y'all, y'all heard it. <laughs> Got to get them classes in, get them walks, <laughs> get them walks in. So. While we're talking about pageants, 
um, you just created a business with um, pageantry in your um, hometown, correct? Well, in Mississippi, yes. With the Mississippi River um, pageant, right? Correct. What What made you, what, what started you to want to do um, pageants in uh, well, Mississippi? What started, actually, well, during COVID, I realized a lot of African-American students was losing their tuition, losing their scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. And if you never, if you notice, a lot of girls actually can receive funding from scholarships. Them USA pageants, them state pageants, and national pageants would give title holders up to 100K in scholarships. Mm -hmm. Them title holders that go to medical school or law school, they don't come out their pocket. Right. So, if a lot of us African American girls really get into pageantry, they will be amazed at how much money they can save while they're in school. Right. They'll be amazed. So, but you know, here everybody just want to dance. Well, that's yeah. really everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you'll everywhere. See, you'll see a, a percentage of like five to eight percent of African American girls in pageantry. Not a lot. Because they don't mm -hmm. believe that it's a thing. But I hate to say it, you know, other cultures, they do it because they know that money, money they know money is there. You see, mm -hmm. like, a lot of billion-dollar companies know, that's where they, they, they know that pageantry is a place that they can place their money into. Right. A millionaire, a millionaire know that he'll, he'll place his money in a USA pageant. They know that they, that's a place where they don't mind donating their money to. Mm -hmm. So, if a lot of, like I said, if a lot of African American girls, if they need some money for school, that's a good place, a good area to start competing in for scholarships, pageantry. It's really good. Right. It's really good. It's really good. So, kind of like the piggyback of what you were saying about everybody want to be dancers. I see someone ask a question about um, how culture should be more diverse in music. Um, like, I know you're very diverse, and when you make create your, your dance videos, um, like, it's not just band music. It's not just hip-hop. It's not just R&B. Like, you know, if you're a per like a dancer, like, mm -hmm. as for me, like, I grew up listening to all type, all sorts of genres of music. So if I like it and it's got a good lyric, a good beat to it, I'm going to dance to it. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to dance to it. So, Or you could do, like, now, you know, technology is advancing. So now they have, like, mashups where you can mash up, like, Britney Spears and you know you just have to know what song sounds good to what you can mash up Britney Spears and um a good R and B song you know you can do a mashup right so you got to know what songs flow with what um, right it's some it's some on TikTok I can't think what song it was I think it was a toxic Britney Spears toxic with a uh, genuine pony. They had no. did a mashup, and it was so yes, it was. Oh, nice. you don't put me on something else, Pooh, because I didn't. I'm trying to get into TikTok, so it's just like the TikTok era is really taking over. So I gotta listen to that, sis. Yeah, somebody asked a question about classes. I don't know. My I can't class, let me go back. I, I want uh, milk chocolate eighty eight says I want some classes. Who would be a good choice? And, uh, and Glenn is, we, I call him Glenn. He's from my town, so we don't have a, a lot of like dance classes around here, other than coaches and their majorette teams. So I would say just do some research. When you think, well, Kat, I, well yeah, I don't have any um, like ballet studios. We are limited on ballet studios around here in Spartanburg. Okay, what about the outskirts? 
Um, now Green will be a nice place to to search for some dance classes if you are, you know, in the upstate of South Carolina to look for, you know, dance classes. Uh, mm -hmm. and it's uh, I believe it's one in Bowling Springs, South Carolina, but um, it's called Backstage Connections. Okay. Now yeah. I do offer virtual one on one. If uh, who is it? I can't for some reason I can't scroll up. I guess you could scroll up. If they're willing, they could just DM me for virtual one on one classes okay. on Sundays, and then we can do that until they find them. Um, because I'm not in the area until they find them some classes. But I definitely suggest them you know, everybody to take like jazz classes. Um, mm -hmm. you know, stretching classes by the little stretching bands. Um, even like YouTube, because I know money in this pandemic, money is tight right now. So right. Like, YouTube, YouTube can be your best career. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can never <laughs> go wrong with YouTube, girl. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube can be your best friend right now. So be on YouTube and start started um stretching one oh one. It's a lot of people on there that create their own channels to help people out. So um you can let that be your guide until you can pay somebody to, you know, help you out. It's a couple times I done did that with new stretching techniques a few times. Even with the wild stretches, y'all Lord. I'm like, yeah. I kept getting, and I, I got a little short legs, so, <laughs> girl, I, I have not been doing my stretches lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am too to say he is a majorette dance coach in Texas, so I guess uh, y'all can follow Tudor, Tudor, I'm sorry, um, maybe he may do some virtual uh, sessions as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, like you said, uh, kind of going back to what you were saying about how social media and technology has grown. Yeah. Like, you can get on these sites on Instagram or all these social media platforms. Some of the tools are there for you, you know? Yeah, and reach out. Reach out and ask for um, help. It's plenty of, like I said, they said or GG, so that it's at all that actually offer um, training, camp training. You know, mm -hmm. of course, you know, just ask for their fees. And then sometimes they, some want their money up front and some do installments. So, um, just got to ask them about all that. And then, but training is definitely, definitely a must. Mm -hmm. And then just take it at a, uh, at a pace, at a slow pace. Don't rush it. That's Don't right. Don't rush it. Rush That's it. Right. Take if it take a year or two, let it take a year or two because you don't want to tear your oh. ACL or MCL or trying to rush. Come on now. Okay. You preach it something now. Because <laughs> every, everybody don't move fast. Everybody don't learn fast. If it take you a couple mm -hmm. months to learn how to do a PK turn or a pirouette turn, <laughs> oh, oh, well. Come on. Everybody don't learn yeah. it's the same pace. Like, I hear I hear the baby in the background. Yeah. Like uh, he said he, he so, said he hungry. <laughs> he said he hungry. It's about that time. So like tell us about the life of being a mom cat. Oh, it's good. He's what he's going on um nine weeks now. He's going on nine weeks now. Well, well, he is nine weeks, so he's going to actually going on ten weeks now. This still coming to the bay. But it's definitely an adjustment. Um, it's an adjustment, but he's actually not a crying baby, so my nights is better than not having to be up with a crying baby at night. So that's uh, a plus because he don't cry. Oh, so he makes these little noise like that. Um, but of course he does a little crying because he wet or hungry and stuff like that, the normal stuff. But just crying, yeah, I'm kinda <laughs> I'm kinda blessed with not having it. But um it's a it's a it's a blessing, it's a good experience or whatever. Um but like I said, it's an adjustment because you got a human being, it's a life. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So 
Someone said, can you explain what that is for us non-dancers? What do you mean? Uh, what, what what to explain? I missed that one. So, uh, uh, what I say, a pirouette? Oh, okay, yeah. That's yeah. a term. Yeah. It's French. Everything, ballet is French. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a term. It's not really hard to do unless, you know, you got a good instructor uh, and yeah, and mentor to, to guide you on how to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, also, um, what's next in 22 Just for really? Cat and well, the Cat's Creations? Well, right now, I'm really, well, I'm getting my master's, graduating my master's in April. Congratulations. Uh, really, I'm going to be back training myself at the Habit of Baby, really getting into fitness. Got to get back training myself first. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to be next training, uh, fitness and training first. And then I'm going to push forward. So like I said, you have to get yourself together before you start back. So it's not that I'm back at square one, but after having a baby, it's an adjustment. So, <laughs> yes, I I want to say again, congratulations on getting your master's. That's that's very phenomenal. You're a new mom, you mm -hmm. know, getting back into the dancing, and like we're looking for a cat to drop another dance video soon. Yes, like, it's for real, for real, it might be like probably like March or April. Okay. Marcia we'll be April. ready to see that. Yeah. I'm like, my girl, like, I know she when she had a baby, is she gonna be, you know, she gonna suit up and boot up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just give me so I said probably like March or April, probably the end. So yeah, probably around that time I'm working it out. Now I had to get cleared after the six weeks. We're working out now, and then I'm gonna right. have to far back training and dancing and try to be more creative. So mm -hmm. dancing, I got creative now. Oh yeah! Somebody said, "Can't wait."